What's going on YouTube? It is Black Shop back at another video for you guys today. So I was requested to check out this video called Top 10 Comedy Movies of All Time. Now this video is from WatchMojo.com. So I'll leave the original link in the description box below. Okay. Um, so I know quite a few comedy movies. Um, Bridesmaids, that was hilarious. Um, Soul Plane, some people say it was stupid, but... I mean, that's the point of a comedy movie. You got to do stupid shit. Step Brothers. Um, what's another one I see? Hold on. Rush Hour. Hilarious. Um, I said something else. Scary Movie. Uh, the, my favorites were 1 and 2. No, 2 and 3 are my favorites. So, I mean, no shade to the other ones, you know. But, I mean... When the Wayne's brothers left the, you know, experiment and whatnot and left the project, I mean, but without any further ado, let's check out this video in about a three, two, one. The Zen philosopher Basho once said, Caddyshack. Ha! No holes. What kind of name is that? It's not a flute. And a donut. He ain't got no hole. damn shoes on. It's Danish. It's a funny guy. These movies have come back from the past to make well, you laugh. Man. This is the big one. People. Anchorman, whatever the fuck it's kind called. Of a big deal. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten comedies of all time. For our series on the top comedies of all time, we've chosen comedy films per decade based on their iconic status, critical acclaim, Austin Powers, success, Groovy Baby, and of course how funny they are. Well, you're really doing it, aren't you? Shit down Told the street. you. <laughs> Told this you. clip, the final installment in the series, we've taken the top Ooh, that was a good one too. Each of our previous There's something wrong with Mary or something. Against each other to come up with our final list. They had the damn elite table and shit. Number ten, Doctor Strange Love, or How I Learned Doctor to Stop Strange and Love the Bomb. Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. Stanley Kubrick was the master of genre bending films. And this Cold War pre-apocalyptic political black comedy is widely regarded as one of his greatest efforts. Mr. President, it is not <laughs> only possible, it is essential. While the movie isn't outright hilarious, Who are you? the intense performances by all the supporting actors, in contrast to Peter Sellers' oh, own Lord. master of disguise style of comedy, <laughs> are genuinely funny okay. and cement Dr. Strangelove as a cinematic piece of art. Oh, that's where that came from. You know you finna die, ain't you? <laughs> Number nine. Super I bad. remember that. Nice. Jonah Hill got his first lead role in this coming he was young as hell. about two high schoolers who are just trying to graduate in style. Just f***ing come with me on this voyage and just stop being a pussy for once and we can f***ing f*** some girls already. The result is a series of awkwardly hilarious and sometimes vulgar adventures oh. as Seth, played by Hill, and Evan, played by Michael Sarah, try to score some alcohol and get with the cool kids. F*** me, right? Interestingly, the film was written by Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg and is what? based on their own experiences in high school. These eyes are crying. These eyes have seen a lot of love. What the? Superbad was a box office hit and was well received by critics. Oh, uh, okay. Along with being one of the most successful high school comedies ever. I am McLovin. No, you're not. No one's McLovin. McLovin's never existed because that's a made up, dumb, and fairy tale name, you. I give. I thought he was gonna hit somebody with that. Number eight, Animal House. <laughs> Widely regarded as the epitome of teen sex comedies, National she don't even look Animal real. House undoubtedly set a precedent for the gross-out movies that followed and imitated it. Jesus. I'm a zit. Get it? With what characters the like the crusty old Dean Wormer. Not another word. And the fun-loving frat boy Otter. What's the matter with everyone around here? Later teen comedies <laughs> that was their disgusting. cues from this John Landis flick. While the laughs come from both lowbrow and more sophisticated comedy, the highlight has got to be John Belushi's performance as the simple yet dedicated Pluto. That figure. Damn. Take it to the head. Yeah, yeah. Ah, thanks. <laughs> I needed that. Oh, 
show you something. Yes. This shit was hilarious. Number seven, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. My favorite one is Gold Member. Ultimate gentleman spy. What in the hell? Irresistible to women, deadly to his enemies, a legend in his own time. Straight from the mind of SNL alum Mike Myers, this spy movie spoof hit theaters in a big way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Spawning several sequels and Halloween costume ideas for years to come. Very shagadelic. Austin oh, my. Powers pokes fun at all the classic Bond movie tropes. It's a very groovy time. <laughs> while pulling off an engaging story with memorably insane characters. One million dollars. Even today, the jokes are still side-splittingly funny, and Meyers' performances what have us howling with laughter. Do I make you horny? Randy? Do I make you horny, baby? Yes! <laughs> Number what six, the? Blazing Saddles. Oh, dear, dear. Is that Gene? <sighs> This Mel Brooks classic was one of the first in a long line of spoof comedies that kicked off the legendary director's career. Well, I'm gonna take my boys. Have a good night's rest. I missed you. A lampoon of old cowboy westerns, Blazing Saddles takes all the tropes and cliches and lovingly pokes fun at them while delivering a satisfying comedy chock full of visual gags, wordy puns, and hilarious dialogue. Throw out your hands, take out your push, hands on your hips. <laughs> okay. Fart jokes find their place alongside biting political satire. Can't go wrong with a fart joke. And that combination makes for a constantly rewatchable classic. How about some more bees, Mr. Taggart? I'd say you've had enough. Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> Number five. Dumb and Dumber. Um, what is the soup du jour? It's the soup of the day. Mm, that sounds good. You can't go wrong with Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey was a hot property what in the, the 90s, fuck? but no matter how many movies God, she he started, his he still managed to keep things fresh. Oh my God. Hey, I guess they're right. That big ass dumb hat. And dumber. He stars as Lloyd Christmas what opposite the hell? Jeff Daniels' Harry Dunn as two best friends without a brain cell <laughs> between them. Great. I need to watch this. You're at quitties. Any quitties. You're at quitties. No, any quitties. No starsies. You can't do that. In an attempt to return some lost property and get the girl, the pair sets out on a road trip and makes friends on their adventure. While the flick is inarguably dumb, everything from its dream sequences to the toilet scene will still make you bust a gut, as there are simply no boundaries left uncrossed. Whoa. That's thanks to the fairly they sit up there laughing. Writing, and they're the same force behind the equally brilliant but dumb bowling comedy, Kingpin. Which opponent poses the biggest threat to you in the tournament? <laughs> if I get drunk and Bill fall, Murray. I hurt myself, I might lose. Number four, Caddyshack. Caddyshack. I never yeah, what do you think? That's Bill Murray again. Really With comedy legends like Chevy Chase, Bill Murray, Rodney Dangerfield, and many others. This film packs one hell of a punch uh, to the funny bone. Was that a beaver? Train, you're a little monkey woman, you know that? You're a little monkey woman. You're lean and you're mean and you're not too far between either, I bet, are you? From um, start to finish, Caddyshack supplies classic quotes. Look at that one. Well, the last time I saw a mouth like that, I had a hook in it. Side-splitting performances. This is across uh, uh, a bluegrass, Kentucky bluegrass uh, feather bed bench and uh, Northern California Sensimilla. And overall hilarity. What do you say we bust up this joint, huh? <laughs> anything can happen in this no oh, holds barred laugh riot, and almost anything does. You better calm your ass down, Grandpa. Don't have a heart attack. <laughs> that motherfucker's gone. When it comes to sports comedies, this flick is truly a hole in one. Oh, he got all of that one. He's got to be pleased with that. The crowd is just on his feet here. He's a Cinderella boy. Uh, hey, everyone. Come and see how good I look. Number three, Anchorman, <laughs> the legend of Ron Burgundy. Mm, I love scotch. I love scotch. Scotch is got scotch. What do you get when you throw four incredibly inept newsmen from the 70s together? Cannonball! Will Ferrell 
and his cohorts deliver one of the first and funniest flicks in a long line of hilarious comedies starring the same ensemble of actors with Anchorman. 60% of the time, it works every time. The comedy has spawned many quotable one-liners. I love lamp. And even produced a highly anticipated and side-splitting sequel. I'm an Anchorman. I read the news off the teleprompter. It's what I do. How will I live? Thanks to an excellent cast, especially Farrell's almost perfect performance as Ron Burgundy. Oh, I'm Mars. in a glass case of emotion. It's immature but still funny humor and tons of gags. The but comedy I mean, Will scenes Farrell. are Come just on. as rewatchable and fresh as they were when they first hit theaters. You are a smelly pirate hooker. You look like a blueberry. <laughs> Why don't you go back to your home on Whore Island? Every passenger on this plane will have fish for dinner. Well. We'll become violently ill in the next half hour. Number two, airplane. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your flight. By the way, is there anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane? If this movie proves anything, it's the comedies don't have to make sense to be hilarious. Right, nope. I'm going to unlock the automatic pilot. <laughs> what the fuck? On the surface, they got a blow up now. a spoof of earlier disaster films. But as soon as the opening credits roll, the audience is also taken on a nonstop roller coaster ride of sight gags and hilarious dialogue. He's moving. Can't what be the serious? Fuck? I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Lloyd Bridges is especially funny in his <laughs> role as Steve McCroskey, an air traffic worker who slowly works his way through all the drugs he can find. <laughs> Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. But thanks to its cheesiness, <laughs> silliness, and it flows through you. And it flows through uh, she's dying, I think. And use of slapstick. Read about Jehovah's Witness? <laughs> oh, shit. How about Buddhism? <laughs> The satirical comedy is often considered one of a the duck. finest films. That honky muffin mess my old lady. Got to be running cold upside down his head, <laughs> you know? Hey, yo, home, I can dig it. No, he ain't gonna lay no more big rap up on you, man. Before we <laughs> think our subtitles, they ain't shit. Of all time, here are a few honorable mentions. All right, what's the last thing we remember? The hangover. The well, the first thing was we were on the roof and we were having those shots of Jaeger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That was hilarious. I haven't seen that in years. Something like it hot. What's going on here? Oh. Oh dear. How you have my darling? Yo, he just tripped. He alright. No, stop. Come here, come Don't make a bit. That is a baton penis. Number one, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Hello! Monty Python loves to lampoon Hello! Music, and they did it again with Life of Brian. A in here! A <laughs> now go away! However, it's the Holy Grail that's our pick you got for a the comedy achievement. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. Starting from the, the memorable opening shot, the movie does offer some of the Python gang's trademark stream of consciousness comedy. But under a more unified theme. And it's replete with simple sight gags and intellectual humor. As a whole duck. has deservedly become a classic, and lines have been endlessly re quoted by comedy aficionados everywhere. Fart in your gender direction. King Arthur and his knights are merciless. Did you just say I fart in your genitals? The Middle Ages becoming a backdrop for the best comedy of all time. Look, that rabbit's got a vicious street a mile wide. It's a killer. Do you agree with our list? No. What's your oh, favorite? So most of these um, are unknown for me, but however, they did make me chuckle a little bit. Um, I definitely can agree with uh, Austin Powers, <laughs> Bridesmaid, even though they didn't show it on this one. But, um, it's a lot of comedy movies out there. Um, <laughs> but definitely in the, uh, Austin Powers franchise, my favorite one was, uh, in Gold Member with Beyonce. It's gold, it's gold, it's gold, it's gold, it's solid gold. Remember that? <laughs> but, you know, it's nothing like a good comedy movie. You know, laughter heals the soul. You know what I'm saying? Like, people can be doing the most dumbest shit. And it, for some reason, it'll just make you laugh. Like, that's, that's, that's the power of comedy. But, um... If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Comment below some of your favorite comedy movies. Go ahead and let me know in the comments. And uh, 
Um, let me know if there's anything I can react to for you guys next. For me, I'm going to give y'all three to five, if I can name some. So, Soul Plane, Bridesmaids, Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins, Austin Powers and Gold Member, and I'm going to go with Step Brothers because that shit was hilarious. Like, they be having, like, these raunchy-ass scenes. And it's just like, you, you don't expect it. I, I'm going to give one more too. Soul Men with um, uh, Bernie Mac and Samuel Jackson. So you guys let me know some of your favorite uh, comedy movies, okay? Because who doesn't like to laugh? Once again, let me know if there's anything I can react to for you guys next. And hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram and hit that notification bell so you guys know when the video up and loaded. It. It's Black Shaw and I'm A.